Hello everyone, we're heading back to Clash of Wills, this time to farm it. So I got a turn one kill farm going, and this is the team. So we have Kaito, because the boss does undispellable buffs, and he can deal with that. Uh, he's starting in the shift, I just have his katana on him. He's pretty much just going to break and get rid of the buffs on the boss. Uh, Sukiko is going to put up the field, do a rod in peril for us. Uh, she doesn't really need any gear. And then we have Sylvie starting in the shift. Uh, we have the big insect killer from her. Uh, stat buffs and everything. So she doesn't really need anything as well. Uh, Roberta also starting in the shift. And we get our aquatic killer and fire in view with the 45 boost. So don't really need anything there. And then we have 2B as my tag chainer. So base form LB focus. Two seventy-five aquatic and insect with three hundred unlimited damage for her, and we're just using the base form, so that's it. And Chizuru should work as well in the shift form. Just need the chain built for our finisher. And doing all the damage is X Death uh, dropping a meteor, so got him built for mana, magic, and killers. Three hundred aquatic, three hundred insect for him. All right, let's jump in. All right, so Kaito. We're going to do Unpredictable to get rid of buffs, Crashing for the better breaks, and then his third cast doesn't matter. I'm just going to hit Destabilizing. Uh, Sukiko. We're going to do Bless for Rod and Peril. We're going to do the Fire Field, and her third cast actually doesn't matter. I'm just going to do Protection for stat buffs. So for Sylvie, we're going to do Offense for 350 buffs for 2B. We're going to do Insect Killer on X-Death, and then we're going to I've Got Your Back on X-Death for the better stat buffs. Uh, Roberta in the ba uh, shift form. Aquatic Killer. Inferno Breath. Her third cast actually doesn't matter. I just use the Magnus because whatever. And once all the buffs are done, 2B is going to Limit Burst and X Death is going to Meteor. So we start Meteor first because long cast. Get the chain going. And turn one kill. So 2.8, and X-Death probably did at least two of that himself. So almost. All right, we can run a couple more times just for variance checks. And the nice thing is, once set up, everybody's in the proper shift forms and everything, we can just repeat. So first we'll do a reload and a quicker uh, tap. So reload, hit all the buffs and debuffs, let them go. And then start Meteor. And the chain. So that time, x that did 2.2 himself. Alright, so once we got the quick tap set up, this is an easy farm just to load up and hit repeat. Couple of casts, hit repeat, everything should work out. And 
and 2.7. So yeah, we can probably just change 2B for any tag chainer and still pull it off. X-Death should be doing enough damage just himself to actually kill it. Alright, so that's my turn 1 farm that I'm going to be using. We're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.